As we head into the Memorial Day weekend, we're bringing you to a solemn ceremony at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Exeter. If you've ever been to the Echo Taps on Armed Forces Day, we're about to give you a front row seat. I would assume reporter Walt Buteau has more in this Street Street Stories. At the first Echo Tap ceremony, there were only five buglers and no one to listen other than the heroes laid to rest here. Nearly three dozen horn players warmed up in a stiff breeze. Conduct you note by note through taps. Surrounded by dozens of umbrellas and hundreds of final resting places at the Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Bob Lowell was at the front of this circle of brass, charged with playing the first three of the 24 saddest notes in music. I was very nervous. <laughs> and then it always goes fine. We have to remember what we're doing this for. Remember those that, that are falling. After Lowell hit his three, he kept playing. As the horn next to him continued a domino effect around the entire circle. The next player, the next player, the next player, and it just cascades right around this big circle here, which is about a quarter mile around. The youngest was 13. The oldest, 94-year-old World War II veteran George Silva, who could care less about the rain. It uh, brings tears to the eyes. I guess it was nice to have the rain to cover those tears. The cascade ended with organizer Mike Jackson, who started Echo Taps here 13 springs ago. He's played taps at nearly 13,000 funeral services, but he says he remembers each one for the American who was honored that day. Tears? Tears. I'm not immune to that at all. This we ask that you ever hold us all in the hollow of your hands. No, it's not work. It, um, it's, it's very meaningful for me because I'm a, I'm a part of that detail to lay this person his final rest. They've had as many as 90 horn players for Echo Taps, and if you can play, they'd love to see you here next year. To find out more, log on to WPRI.com. In Exeter, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.